Hello everyone, welcome to my math video. Today I'll be discussing another topic or another question in the M1 June 2009. Uh, this is a re about connected particles, in this case connected car and uh, trailer. Right? We'll look at how to uh, draw the diagram, label the diagram and then form the two equations to solve. The first two part will normally be quite straightforward. The part that uh, you need to pay attention is the last part. Uh, students tend to get mixed up with the last part. Alright, let's start off by drawing a simple diagram on the right hand side. We have a car. Okay, we have a car. And the car is pulling a trailer. And the information given to the car is, is 800 kilograms. So let's draw the weight here. So this is 800 G Newton and it's pulling a trailer of mass 200 kg. Now I've got a very interesting uh, what do you call it? question from a student who was wondering how is it that trailer is so small? Not normally when you talk about the word trailer you think of a very big what they call lorry or or uh, uh, something behind that is very huge in which the car is pulling but that's not always that's not always the case okay but if you look at the word trailer it means it comes from the original word trail so anything that's connected behind it's trailing behind your vehicle that's called a trailer so it need not be a huge one all right so that's why in this case you notice that the mass is only 200 kg or the weight is 200 g in newton and on top of that you have horizontal resistance obviously for the car the resistance is a lot bigger 400 newton and for the trailer is 200 newton now the engine is producing a driving force which is a thousand two so it's going in this direction so this one is a thousand two and of course, there's a tow bar here. The tow bar here would have a force connected to it. And because it's, the car is pulling the trailer and it's accelerating, so we have a tension in the tow bar. One acting pulling at the car, the other one in the opposite direction is pulling on the trailer. Alright, so in this question, we know that the car is accelerating. Let's see the acceleration C. So the equation of motion would be depending on whether you want to take for the whole system or you want to take for just the car or just the trailer. But which one do you do? Since they asked you to find the acceleration of the car and trailer, car and trailer, so we consider for the whole system. When you do that, you don't bring in the T for the whole system. The equation of motion is 1200 minus 400 minus 200 the resistance on the trailer and that's about all the forces equals to ma because we're talking taking the whole system we have to consider the total mass so in this case will be 200 plus 800 so that will be 1000 a simplify so 1002 minus 200 will be 1000 minus 400 is 600 so that will be 6 over or 3 over 5 meter per second square. So for this for the first part. Now the next part, part B, you require the tension. So in this case, you need the tension. All you have to do is consider one system. I can consider the, only the car, the forces in the car or the forces acting in the trailer. Uh, uh, you can see that there are less forces acting in the trailer, so I would rather choose the trailer. All right. So for the trailer, so as you should specify that for the trailer, we have T minus 200 equals to 200 times the acceleration. In this case, it's 350. All right. Simplify that will give us 40, that will be 120. And therefore, T is equals to uh, 3. 
done. So that's the T. So that's the tension, the T. Now, as I say, the first two parts is pretty easy. If you go according to what the question asks you, you know which equation to form so that you don't have to waste so much time. You can see that I found the acceleration first, then only the tension. Okay, and I, I didn't bring in the tension at all in my first equation for part A. Alright, for part C, what happens now? The car saw a hazard, so it reduces the force produced by the engine to zero and apply the brakes. So what happened now is, so you have a trailer, still have a trailer here. This is a two wheel trailer. You have the tow bar here. You still have the car. Okay, so the vital information is 400 Newton is still the resistance. And 200 is the resistance for the trailer. And of course the mass is the weight is still 200 Newton or 200 G Newton and the weight for the car is 400 G Newton. Okay, now the fact that the the engine speed is now the engine force is already reduced to zero, there's no engine force anymore. So there's only braking force. So the braking force is obviously going to slow down the car. So you must head in the opposite direction. And it's given as F. Given a resistance to motion unchanged, maybe your thrust and tow bar is 100. Now, over here, the keyword is thrust. Thrust basically is in the opposite direction as tension, but thrust is basically a compression force. So, when a car applies the brake, the tow bar is compressed. So, you find that the compression force acts in the opposite direction. So for the car, it's this direction, let's call it D also. For the trailer, it's in this direction. Again, the same thing. So you can see here, we are the T in this case is 100 Newton. The important thing is the direction must be correct. Okay. So the aim is to find what's the value of F. Now you can see, obviously, you can consider the whole system. Alright, you can consider the whole system or you can consider the car or you can consider the trailer. So these are the three things that you have to consider. The car and the trailer. So the deceleration is basically unknown. Let's use the letter small f for deceleration. So in this case we have two unknown, so we need to use actually two equations to solve. So what we can do is uh you notice the 5f is a lot easier if we just consider the trailer. So I'm gonna write here for trailer. The only force opposing it is uh, 200 minus 200 minus t which is 100 actually. Uh, it goes to mass times acceleration. So over here we have this equation. So F will be equals to negative two. Uh, sorry, negative three over two. So that's a deceleration. So once we've got the deceleration, then we can find what is F. So for the car. So next, the next thing we need to resolve is just for the car only. So negative F, negative 400. And notice T is in the forward direction. So you must add plus T or plus 100. Equals to M, which is 400, A or F. In this case, it's minus 3 over 2. Simplifying that, we have minus F minus 300 will be equal to minus 600 and that will give us F equals to 300 meters. so that's our breaking force so choosing the right object to write down the equation is very important it will shorten your steps and makes it much easier for you for you to solve and it will also save you time so think about this so the key thing here most of them got stuck was because of the trust here. 
you see a new word here that I've not seen before. So basically, this is a compression force opposite to the tech direction of the tension. I still use T here, that's fine because I'm only considering for part C. So do not be confused with the earlier part. Alright, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Hope that you have a better understanding of solving this type of question. Bye.